In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, as the United States emerged as a world power, it began extending its influence into its southern neighbors' territories. This period marked the beginning of what would be known as the Banana Wars. A driving force behind these interventions was the protection of American economic interests, particularly those of fruit companies like the United Fruit Company. These businesses had extensive investments in the region, influencing U.S. policies. The U.S. military was frequently deployed to nations like Cuba, Nicaragua, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. These interventions ranged from military occupation to supporting governments friendly to U.S. interests. President Theodore Roosevelt's corollary to the Monroe Doctrine was pivotal. It stated that the U.S. would intervene in Latin American affairs to maintain stability in the Western Hemisphere. The Banana Wars had lasting effects, including regional resentment towards the U.S. and influenced the political and economic trajectory of these nations. By the mid-1930s, the U.S. began to shift its approach under President Franklin D. Roosevelt's Good Neighbor Policy, focusing on improving relations and reducing military interventions. The Banana Wars have been criticized for representing a form of imperialism, prioritizing commercial interests over the sovereignty and welfare of the people in the affected countries.